jog another 10 miles. <laughs> yeah, I never figured you for the late night hiking type. <laughs> you have been full of surprises lately. So you're saying I was boring before? Oh, you could never be boring. Mm -hmm. But you have given new meaning to the word unpredictable. Complaining? Oh, definitely not. Mm -hmm. Good, because I'm just starting to warm up. Hmm. Hey, so how are you holding up? I still can't believe I'm never gonna see my little girl again. Is this host baby book? Yeah. Yeah. I made it before I knew I was giving her up for adoption. It's her hand in your foot. This is all I have left of her. I really messed things up, didn't I? Hey, you never set out to hurt Valerie. Yes, but I did. And now, because of me, Valerie will never see her little girl ever again. All because I just... I had to know if Jamal was the father or not, which of course he isn't. So it means that everything that we did was for nothing. Oh, you just told me to... I went snooping around that I would just stir up trouble. And you were so right. So why aren't you saying, I told you so? Because I'm starting to think there's more to this whole adoption thing than we know. You've made me hurt my friends. Humans will only hurt you. No, stop trying to brainwash me. I am onto you now. I remember everything. Every sick, twisted thing you made me do. You violated me. You used me to do your dirty work, and now I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to the people I love. And how do you plan to do that, my love? You brought me back. Why? Because you love me more than you do them. I wouldn't exist if not for you. So think about that. Think about the role you played in all this. going for some kind of record? Oh, God, I love you. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think you love me now, wait till I whip us up some food. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you have the energy to do anything but lie here. I'm totally knocked out. Well, we have plenty of time to sleep. Mm. I want to spend every waking minute enjoying you. Mm. Mm. Oh. Uh. What are you doing? Looking for something. I've lost. It was here a minute ago. Oh, why don't you tell me what you're looking for? Maybe I can help. <laughs> it was something good mm -hmm. and sweet. Yeah. <sighs> My candy bar. I uh, am starving. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Okay. All right, I'll stop <laughs> if you give me some of your candy. <gasps> No man should come between a girl and her candy. Okay. And you're asking for it. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, listen, listen, listen. I have a deal. I have a deal. What? I uh I'm not gonna share my chocolate with you, no. but but I will give you something better. What? Me. I'll give you me. Marry me, Frank. This isn't right, Jamal. I gave birth to this little girl. I gave the Hartmans the greatest gift anyone can give when I let them have hope. 
And then they send some lawyer to dismiss me like I'm yesterday's garbage? No, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I won't put up with this. I'm gonna go to the Hartmans and get them to change their minds. No, no, bad move. Okay, you back them in the corner, they'll feel threatened. Jamal, you're a good talker. Maybe they'll listen to you. No, no, look, this has nothing to do with me. I'm nothing. asking you as my friend, please, come with me to the Hartmans. If anyone can get them to change their minds, it's you. I know it is. They have an arrangement with Valerie for a year. Okay, and then one visit from you, and they cut off all contact with Valerie. And then we go over there to make things okay, and they kick us to the curb. Yeah, it was kind of like they didn't really even want us to see Hope. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they're... It's like they're hiding something. Yeah, but what is that? That's what we gotta find out. Whatever happened to no snooping around? Something's got them acting a little weird. And maybe, just maybe, Livy's instincts about Jamal and Valerie are right. God, I feel sick. All I did was try to love you. You don't have a clue what love is. You made me drive a wedge between people who belong together. Even Ian, Lucy, and my father. My God, I even made Allison think that Jamal's the father of Valerie's baby. You're forgetting one little thing. These are the same people who tried to destroy me. Yeah, and I brought you back. You're right. You're right. I am responsible. God, forgive me for that. You wouldn't have answered my call if you didn't love me. Your love brought me back. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why? Because you're my destiny. I needed your strength until I could regain my own. But Olivia, all you did was plant the seed. It was their own distrust that nourished it and made it into a mountain of misery. And they did all this on their own. No. Caleb, I helped. We help them. Olivia, I, I can give you the world. I can give you happiness forever. You will never, ever be lonely as long as I'm in your life. But it doesn't come without a price. And right now you're paying it. So you want to make an honest man of me, huh? <laughs> Very funny, Karen. I guess now you want us to hike into town and find a wedding chapel. <laughs> All my life, I've waited for things to come to me. All those days are over. I know what I want, and from now on, I'm going to reach out and grab it. And I want you. You serious? You make me happy, Frank. You make me laugh. And let's not forget our little secret. You went back in time to make me real again. You loved me that much. When I'm with you, I feel so cherished. You look at me, and I see the love on your face. I want to see that love on your face forever. That is never going to change. So what do you say? You know, usually, you know, it's the guy who gets down on his hands and knees and... It's 21st century, Frank. Get over it. Do you love me? Yes. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> I'm going to tell whoever it is that I'm going to be busy for the next 60 or so years. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can, if I can only find my pants. I think you surrendered them somewhere near the shower. Don't move. 
What was that? a really good reason why you're stalking me. I'd love to hear it. It is not my place to go talk to the Hartmans. In the past, when I needed you, you helped me out when Cedric was causing trouble for Valerie, me. please, that, that was different. So you think I'm wrong to be a part of Hope's life? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that the more you push, the more the Hartmans are going to pull away. It's like giving up my baby all over again. Valerie, come here. It's OK. It's okay. This isn't your problem. It's okay. So you really think that Jamal could be Hope's father? The Hartman said Hope was premature. Now, you saw her when she was first born. What did she look like to you? Well, I don't remember her being especially small or needing any sort of special care from the hospital. There's only one way to find out for sure. That's to run a DNA test. Okay, fine. Then that's what we'll do. Oh. Jack, what are you doing? All right, you what? know what? No, you know what? what? Forget everything what? I just said. Why? Now, you, you and Jamal are happy, right? Yeah. So everything I just said is completely wrong. Jamal finds out why Valerie can't see her kid. It's a whole world of grief you guys don't need. Okay, but Jamal could be no, Pope's father. No, Allison, father. no buts. Leave it alone. Either way it works out, you're gonna lose. You have no right to manipulate me anymore like some kind of mindless puppet. You made me hurt innocent people whose only crime was coming to my rescue. If your friends hadn't interfered, we'd be together right now. They saved my life! You call this a life? Hmm. Only I can give you the life you truly long for. Do you remember how you came alive under my touch? Stop. How it felt? Our bodies next to each other. So close that we're one heart beating. Right now, all I feel is sick to my stomach. You don't mean that. You made me sleep with some man, just so Jack could find us. You took away the only pure love I have ever known. All I did was show you that Jack's love was conditional. Do what he says, he'll love you. But step outside the boundaries, and you are a distant memory. I have to find him and tell him what's going on. He has moved on. I think you know in your heart that's true. You know, it may be over for Jack and me, but it's not over for the others. And I'm going to find them, and I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them that you are behind all their misery. No, my love. You'll do no such thing. Uh, Have you lost your mind? What are you thinking? Karen, I injected you with vampire serum. I, the least I can do is look out for you. You should be thanking me. And you think you own me because you accidentally stuck me with a needle? <laughs> Look, I agreed to let you test me. I am cooperating with your research. But that doesn't give you the right to come here and ruin my vacation with my fiance. I know, I know. It... With your what? F Frank asked you to marry him? Actually, I asked him. What do you mean you asked him? Why would you do that? Karen, you don't know if you're going to be able to walk down the aisle or, or fly down like a little fruit bat or something. What were you thinking? It's none of your business. <sighs> and why do you keep staring at me like that? What more Shh, research? Shh, just keep your voice down. Frank will hear us. Well, maybe he should. Then he'll come out here and, and rearrange your face for peeping in at us. He's not peeping. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. Collecting behavioral data. Look, I don't care what you call it, okay? As long as it stops now and you get the hell out of my face. Fine, you won't see me again. Good. This house call is over.
Hey, that was Joe. Mm. Mm. So did you uh, tell him I finally roped you? No, I wanted to enjoy this moment alone for a little while. <laughs> oh, we are getting married. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, this is one wedding that's never going to happen. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. Where you guys been? Um, we were just taking care of some stuff. Well, um, I'm gonna grab something to eat. I'll see you back at the shop. Okay. I've been uh, Yeah. I better get back to work myself. Okay. The vice won't fix themselves, right? No, they won't. I will see you back at the apartment. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. She wasn't small at all. I didn't think she was that. Oh, no. Okay, now, with a tiny strand of Hope's hair and Jamal's hair, I could run the DNA test and find out if she really is Jamal's daughter. But no way should I, should I take this. I mean, that's just wrong. This book. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks really important, so I, I thought I would just, you know, take it and, and put it in a safe spot for Valerie. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one burger to go. Got it. It's you. Hey, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good to see you out of the hospital. Thanks. I, I, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I, I know I lost it on you when I saw you with Livy, um, but I know it's not your fault. She played me. <sighs> she played both of us, man. Hell, if the situation was reversed, I would have done the same thing. I was mad at the time, but I got over it. I'm not pressing charges, so. <laughs> it's a good thing. I owe you it. Take it easy. Hey, Jack, I saw your girlfriend a while ago in some big hurry. What? Where? Uh, well, I was, you know what? No, no, no. She's not my girlfriend anymore. What are you gonna do, Olivia? What exactly are you gonna tell your little friends? The truth. You've been behind their troubles all along. Hmm. I'm dead, remember? You're the one that destroyed their lives. They won't believe that. Jack did. They'll understand that I didn't know what I was doing. And how long is that going to play? You're the only one that see me. You start talking about my plans for revenge, and they're going to think you're crazy. No. They'll lock you up and throw away the key. Is that what you want? I want you out of my life. I think you protest too much. I can still see the desire behind the anger. You still want me. I can give you what no one else can. And that's why you'll always help me. I have to warn my friends, make things right. You can't undo what's already been done. They may not believe me, but I have to try. No, sweetheart. You'll leave when I say you can.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. I'm going to tell everyone the truth, that you're back and you're trying to destroy them all. You'd do that. You'd ruin everything that we've worked so hard for. You made me do all those things. I know now, and they are going to know too. If you miss Caleb's chilling arrival in Port Charles, you can flash back to Port Charles' tainted love, Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. 4 Pacific. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.